Hello and welcome to my Sims 4 Sock Bunny Sims Asylum Challenge. My name is Kimberly, also known as Sock Bunny, and I am recording in sunny Florida in the United States of America. This is going to be my version of the challenge. I have played it in Sims 2, 3, and 4, and I'm going to be comparing my rules to the Sims 3 official rules, which you can find if you just Google that. And I'm going to play it a little bit differently, though. Um, in the original challenge, you had one playable sim and seven inmates who were not playable. I'm going to play two sims as playable and six inmates. So let's go ahead and meet them. Uh, this is the house that I built and I did upload it to the gallery. You can find it under my username which is SockBunny66 or under the hashtag SockBunnySims. So I'm going to go ahead and start the game and let's meet our Sims. Our first Sim is going to be one of our playable Sims. Her name is Dawn Duckworthy and as you can see she has blonde hair. And I'm going to turn down their voices just a little bit, just for a second. Just to, uh, let's see, audio voices. They seem like they're a little bit loud. Okay, let's see how that works. Um, so I, uh, she has pink hair and as you're going to see she loves pink. She wears a lot of pink. And her husband is also here in the asylum with her. her his name is Drake Duckworthy. And he has blue hair and you're going to see that he wears a lot of blue. And he's cooking right now. Um, we do start the household off with 100 simoleons, so I have reduced, oh, that was gross. <laughs> I have reduced their family funds to 100 simoleons, and it is going to be up to Dawn and Drake to earn enough money to support this asylum and pay the bills and so forth. So they're the only two payable, playable sims. The other sims are not going to be playable, so let's look at them. Uh, first we have Beverly, and she's right here, and her aspiration is Public Enemy. And you're going to see that all six of the non-playable sims will either be a Public Enemy or Chief of Mischief, and they all six have the same personality traits, slob, insane, evil, and dastardly. Now, in the original challenge, they wanted your inmates to all be insane, hate the outdoors, and be absent-minded. But those last two we don't have as options in this game, so that's why I decided to make them evil and slobs and insane. I figured if they're slobs, they're not going to clean up after themselves and so forth. Uh, let's see. Um, our two playable sims. I did not give them bad traits, even though in the original... Uh, challenge they wanted you to have them be loser and insane so they are going to have um, nice traits in my game because I don't consider them to be inmates so they're going to be perfectionist music lover creative and user for Dawn and for Drake he's going to be perfectionist neat art lover and quick learner now the goal of the challenge is uh, twofold one you want as many sims to survive as possible and secondly you want your two playable sims to be get, uh, able to get out the asylum and the way they're going to do that is Dawn's going to have to reach her lifetime aspiration, which is musical genius. And he is, even though his uh, aspiration is nerd brain, that's what I gave him, he actually has to meet three different aspirations, I mean uh, goals. He has to be a number 10 level in handiness, painting, and cooking. So that is the basics. I'll talk about other stuff as we play. You can see everybody right now is in a good mood because we just started and their needs have not decayed yet. Uh, since that is the case, I'm going to um, have the two playable sims get to know each other a little bit better before things get too hectic. So I'm going to have them embrace. And they are husband and wife, and the other six are not related to them in any way.
Um, something you may not know about Sims uh, 4, a little tip, is you know how when you first click on a Sim, it brings you to this random uh, menu, and then you have to go to more choices to get these choices? Well, if you want to get them from right off the bat, just hold down Shift as you click, and it brings them up instead of you having to go through that extra step. Just a little tip there. And then I'm going to have the two of them woohoo while things are not too crazy in the house and while the bed is available. While they're doing that, we are going to check out what the other Sims are doing. Now, I can't look at their needs, but I can go in once a day to their inventory to see if they've put anything in their inventory. So, uh, just whenever I think of that, I will do that. You can see they're getting to know each other. We um, ha are able to have only one shower, one tub, and one sink. Now, you can have a shower-tub combo. Wait, did I say that right? We're, we have one shower, one toilet, and one sink. So you can have a shower-tub combo, but I have found in the past that if I have a tub, they take bubble baths, and it, they hog up the bathroom forever. So I have found a shower to be more efficient. But if you want your game to be gameplay to be more challenging, use either a tub or a tub-shower combo. Um, I did put all three of those in separate rooms because I have found that um, if you have them all in the same room, it definitely makes it more challenging and your sims are more likely to die of embarrassment from walking in on each other. So I have put them in separate rooms, partially because they use the sink every time they uh, go to the bathroom now. And also they're going to need, for uh, cleaning up the kitchen, they're going to need the sink. So, let's see. Oh, I'm only allowed to control these two sims. They're done with what they're doing. So he's going to call the meal. Or she is. And hopefully everybody will eat. You are allowed to have... Um, in the original challenge, you were allowed to have five beds and six seats. But since Sims in The Sims 4 can sleep on chairs, I have vastly decreased that and made two twin beds over here, one double bed, and two chairs. And I did the double bed so that the husband and wife could woohoo occasionally. And um, if you have a death in your household, you have to keep the tombstone and you also have to in the original challenge remove a bed and a chair but since again we are starting off with fewer items I'm gonna go ahead and just remove um, one or the other whenever we have a sim die and also we do have a pool since the pools are out in the Sims 4 now I did go ahead and make the pool as one of our um, skill building items you're allowed to have five skill building items and for mine, I chose to have two guitars because she has the music aspiration, and she's gonna. I'm gonna have her go play the guitar on um, uh, at the park. We also have a woodworking bench because Drake Duckworthy is going to need to get to the top of the handiness skill. Although, if things break as often as they do the last time I played this game, uh, he's going to reach that handiness skill pretty quickly. Because when you have eight sims using the same toilet and so forth, um, it gets, uh, it breaks a lot. So we have, like I said, we have the pool, we have the woodworking bench, we have the two guitars, and also he has an easel over here to paint on. Let's go ahead and look at his needs. His needs seem to be okay, so I'm going to go ahead and have him start painting. We have him do a large classic painting, and yes, that's going to take all 100 of our dollars, so hopefully he will earn at least that back. You can have, um, in your five uh, items, 
you can also, other than your five items, you can have the following items that don't count towards your five skill building items. You can have a PC or a TV, so I decided to have a TV since multiple Sims could use that at the same time, and I have, it, have this cute little adorable um, penguin. And then you can have a stove, of course, and you have to have the cheapest stove. And then you can have a bookcase, which I have over here, and also a mirror, which I have right here. Um, you are not allowed to have any kind of alarms, so no fire alarm or anything like that. You are allowed to have a refrigerator, so I did buy a mi um, um, middle of the road, I guess you could say, refrigerator. Now, in the original series, your Sims could only go to work, to the grocery store, and to the bookstore. Now, we don't have a grocery store or a bookstore in this version of The Sims, so what I'm going to let my two playable Sims do, uh-oh, she's angry from uh, social, socialization. <laughs> I'm going to have her clean up real quick. Um, I am going to let my two playable Sims go to different areas and gather fruits and vegetables, only edible things, and they can eat them and sell them. They can fish, but they are not allowed, now these are my rules, they are not allowed to sell the fish, but they can eat the fish. And they also, I'm going to let them go wherever it is required for them to go for their aspiration. Uh, let's see. I think that's it as far as the rules. If I think of anything else, I will let you know as I think about it. But let's go ahead and just keep playing. I'm going to have... Uh, my playable sim, Dawn Duckworthy, go and try to find some fruits and vegetables. Actually, there probably won't be anything today because I think it takes a day or two to start spawning. I'm not going to let uh, them. I'm not going to let them dig up rocks or pick up pick flowers or anything like that or find frogs for money. Okay, let's see. How is he doing on his painting? Now let's see what she wants to do for her aspiration. She wants to practice music for six hours and listen to music for four hours. So, I'm going to go ahead and have her practice music. Now to listen to music, she is going to need to have a radio. So he's going to have to make enough money for us to at least temporarily buy a radio. After she gains her um, wish, I'll probably go ahead and sell it. Or maybe just keep it out by the pool. Okay, he's done with his painting. Let's go ahead and admire it. And he is embarrassed from imperfect work because he's a perfectionist. It's worth 128. We're going to sell it to a collector. And she's not very good at the guitar yet. <laughs> she just started, of course. And let's go ahead and do another one. Classic painting, 100. Now I can't look at anybody else's needs, like I said, but I can. Um, uh, I can right-click on them, and it will take me to them, so I can see them, but I can't see their needs or anything like that. The last time I played this, I didn't make any of my Sims evil or anything like that, and there weren't any fights or anything, so I'm hoping with having evil Sims that we'll have some fights this time. I know that's mean, but uh, I'm hoping <laughs> to have it be a little bit more interesting this time. So, our other Sims that we have, let's get to know them a little bit. We have here um, Beverly Holloway. And this is. He looks. Um, Floyd Scruggs. He looks. <laughs> Floyd Scruggs. He looked a little confused for a second. I think he's talking to himself. Then we have Chelsea Field. And Alan Granger, who's talking to us while we're painting. Natasha is in the pool. And so is Sam Keen, who is swimming with his glasses on. Let's see how she's doing. Um, one thing that will happen is they will come and sleep on this 
park bench on their own. Um, the, if the unplayable sims want to do that, that's fine. It's not very comfortable um, and they won't get a very good night's sleep, but I won't let my um, two playable sims sleep there. They have to sleep in a bed or a chair. Let's see how he's doing. He's still painting, but he's talking. I'm going to make him stop talking because it slows them down if they try to do more than one thing at a time. And then when he's done with this, we'll have him go to the restroom. I don't know how much the bills are going to be for this house. So hopefully the uh, bills won't be too bad. I tried to make the house as small and inexpensive as possible. Um, I think there are maybe harvestables over in this garden over here in this neighbor's house. So if there are, I'm going to have her come over and harvest some fruits and vegetables. Let's see if any of them are harvestable. Doesn't look like it yet. I think it takes a day or two before... Yeah, we can't uh, harvest them yet, so maybe tomorrow or the next day. Well, her needs are still really good. Let's look at his. Uh -huh. That's nice. He's still embarrassed. <laughs> He wants so, to hide so, from uh, everybody in bed. <laughs> um, I do let my Sims, um, if they have an aspiration, if they get enough points, aspiration points to earn something, I will go ahead and let them do that unless it's money. I won't let them uh, get money from it. Alright, she's still angry. <laughs> Alright, he's going to go to the restroom. And then we'll have him come over here and sell to Collector. And then actually I'm going to have him go ahead and make some food. I would rather have... Um, one person do most of the cooking. It does cost money whenever they... Actually, whenever they cook, it does cost money, so I don't want random people going and uh, making food. At least until we get some money. Okay, so he got 145 for that one, so he's already getting more money than he was. And after he finishes that, we'll have him do another classic painting. He's still embarrassed. <laughs> he's very hard on himself because he's a perfectionist, so he's going to have this until he skills up in his painting skill. He's going to have that mood uh, lit for a while. That's okay. It won't hurt. Everybody down here seems angry. <laughs> they're probably having unpleasant conversations with each other because they're all mean. Let's see. How many hours has she been playing? For four of the six hours. She is getting tired. I think I'm going to have her go ahead and stop and go to bed before all the beds get taken by other sims. So she can sleep and then we'll have her play again. How's he doing on his energy? I think I'm going to have him also come and sleep. Uh, before anybody else takes the beds. She's getting ready to go to bed. So they're all probably starting to get tired. They've been spending a lot of time in the pool together. Uh, 
Guess not get dark. Ho ho ho! Nobi! For Rudy Campbell! Tipo wish Chibasa! Barovi sends in. And when I created the other Sims, um, the other six Sims, just so you know, I just randomly uh, picked Sims and randomized their names, and then I just went in and did the traits for them. And so even their clothing is randomized. I didn't. I only modified it if it was something. Um, uh, I guess you could say immodest. <laughs> I don't like for my Sims to be dressed too immodestly. So I, if they were wearing like you know a speedo or something, I changed them into something a little bit nicer. But that's just me. I don't, you know, I don't want to see real people in a speedo, and I don't want to see my Sims in a speedo either. <laughs> hey, they're both still sleeping. And so she and he is asleep now on the park bench. And she's angry about an unpleasant... Oops, I'm not allowed to look at her once. Oops, oops, sorry, sorry. Back, back. <laughs> not allowed to do that. Well, I guess I was... I mean, that's... As long as I right-click, I'm okay. And I'm not seeing her. That was an accident. Oops, we forgot to put this in the fridge. Okay, it is Sunday night. First night in the asylum. And we have a long way to go before our two sons get out. I can't remember if I said or not, but I did upload this house. I think I said it. I did upload this house and the Sims to the gallery um, under SockBunny66 as my username, and the um, hashtag is SockBunnySims. Sort of boring while they're sleeping. So I'm going to go ahead and just fast forward a little bit while they're sleeping. And like I said, I, I like to play in a smaller house just so I can see everything that's going on with all the Sims at the same time. Sort of like Big Brother, right? Frong, Swish, Garza, Tom. Okay, so when she gets done, I'm going to have her use and grab something to eat. And then I'm going to have him actually go ahead and cook again. Okay, let's go ahead and have them both just get up. She's trying to get up, let some other sims sleep in the bed. Pardo, Bade, near behind a wax wind, Zakini Roshma, Fuiba Gutsuo, Dolbe, Che, Quips Drift Swing, and A. Pelf and Hobaro, Zilni Tator Quasunya. Whoa. <laughs> Oops. Not a very good subject. But he does have to reach the top of uh, the cooking skill, so I'm trying to have him cook as much as possible. Wow. <laughs> Even on my worst day, I, I don't cook like that. <laughs> so after he finishes that and eats, then I will go ahead and have him um, possibly take a shower if nobody else is in there and then start painting again. <laughs> now see, she just went and I was I didn't tell her to do that, but she went and got some food, but she has nowhere to cook it because we don't have enough counters. So let me see if I can get her to resume this. And what's he doing? Oh, 
What is he doing? Bipola. Uh -huh. Okay, do that. Take a shower and then resume. Seraphie, hi, how are you? Gives the plushie. Oopsie, that didn't work. I'll just have her clean up when she's done. Are you talking or staring? <laughs> And the other Sims in the household are all slobs, so it is very unlikely that any of them will ever clean up after themselves. Okay, now she's going to finish. Looked like they were having a staring contest. <laughs> so it will be up to Dawn and Drake and me to keep the house clean. Got a couple of Sims sleeping in the bed. And in this double bed, unfortunately, until they have a high enough relationship, Sims are not going to sleep with each other unless it's the husband and wife. So that, again, makes it a little bit more challenging on having beds. Okay, she's still eating. And standing inside of another person. <laughs> Uh, you gotta love the glitches in this game sometimes. Okay, now that she's done with that, I'm gonna have her go ahead and play the guitar for a couple more hours. Because she needs two more hours, and then we'll uh, buy an inexpensive radio and let her listen to music for four hours. Hopefully he will have made enough money painting. It does take a few days to uh, be, start being able to gather plants, unfortunately, which I don't like. I don't see any of them sparkling yet. She's embarrassed because she's not very good at playing. <laughs> um, I would be interested to know if you have played this challenge before in any of the Sims. So if you have, uh, please comment below and let me know if you did and uh, what you thought about it. Okay, so she's got five hours down. We just need one more. actually playing one of my favorite songs. Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer do. <laughs> I don't know what the actual name of the song though is. <laughs> She's doing a good job. She's not that bad. Let's see what the other Sims are up to. She is eating. He's gonna probably come take a nap. She is going to sit on the bed and chat. He's sleeping, she's sleeping, and he is about to go to the bathroom. <laughs> He's doing the pee pee dance. He's feeling confident. Ooh, 
into the closet. Come on. Okay, she got her six hours, so I'm going to let her stop this for now. I'm going to go ahead and as soon as he finishes this painting, which should be momentarily, <laughs> I'm going to buy a radio for her. Let's go ahead and have her take a shower while she's waiting. Okay, let's have him sell his painting. Let's see how much he gets. 263, that's good. So he's making a little bit more each time. And I'm gonna, out here by the pool, I'm gonna put an inexpensive radio and let her listen to music. Where would that be? Under... Uh, let's see. Let's do electronics. There we go. Radio. And, whoa, 150. We'll probably sell this when we get done listening to music. <laughs> okay. Alright, so... We'll have her listen to some classical music. And we'll go ahead and stay in here with him while he's painting. Stop talking. Get to painting. <laughs> go talk to somebody else. <laughs> it takes them way too long if they talk and try to paint at the same time. Because as you can see, he's not even painting. <laughs> I do love this big picture of a bunny that they paint. Because, of course, my name is Sock Bunny. So, you know, I love bunnies. Are you listening? Yes, she's listening. Alright. So she's got to listen to for four hours. <laughs> she's dancing the classical. Uh, I don't think that's the right dance for that music. <laughs> Let's listen to pop. There. That's more likely what you would dance to. <laughs> there you go. Do this muscle. Let's see how he's doing. I'm not going to worry about uh, filling his aspirations because, like I said, he just wants to get to the top of cooking, handiness, and painting. Okay, young lady, I did not tell you to stop. You. Okay, you finish cleaning up, but then you're going to come listen to music. She, I think she's a neat sim, if I remember right. No, nope, she's not neat, so I don't know why she did that on her own. Listen to pop. Get back out there. Oh yes, that is your best bunny yet. Keep going. The pony. Let's see what she's doing out here. Keep dancing. <laughs> I don't know why listening to music makes you automatically dance, but okay. Alright, is he done with this? Yes, he is. Let's go ahead and sell it. Get back out there. Why are you not listening to me? Listen to pop. Get back out there and stay out there. Don't wake me. Alright, let's do another classic. Just gotta go potty. He's the one who I made neat, right? Yes, he's neat. Uh, don't even think about something. What is your problem? Why do you keep stopping? Okay, it is uh, the next morning, so I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. I hope that you liked it, and that you will uh, like this video, and subscribe to the channel, and tell your friends about it. 
So until next time, have a great day and keep on simming. Bye!